There was a time when vegetarians were considered eccentric and vegans were seen as being extreme. Fortunately, the world has moved on and the idea of following a plant-based diet is becoming far more widely accepted. Vegans avoid consuming any animal-based products, including meat, eggs, dairy and fish. And if that seems to cramp your style, think again. With there, he suggests that you can dip your toes into the vegan lifestyle by joining the Meat Free Mondays movement. And she's developed a delicious menu to give you a taste. Mondays aren't only about your man crush anymore. It's now for saving the environment. And Meat Free Mondays aren't a new trend, but have really started developing in South Africa. So today we're gonna to show you a couple of easy recipes that you can make at home that'll make your Monday even better. Absolutely, and I'm gonna be sharing with you one of my favorite recipes, crumpets. We're gonna to toss in the sugar, adding a pinch of salt, adding the baking powder, just give this a nice mix first. And then we're going to pour in the soy milk. Got to get out all those lumps. Yes, we want it nice and smooth. Now we're going to add the oil. Once again, a nice good whisk. So essentially the oil is replacing the eggs? Yes, that is what's going to add the moisture to this. Kriya, this is the consistency that we're looking for. And we're ready to start. We have some turn on the heat. We don't want the pan to be very hot. We're looking for a medium hot temperature. So that we get that golden brown color. All right, let's get started with our crumpets. That's perfect, nice and round. So Kriya, we're just waiting for these tiny little bubbles to surface. And once that happens, we're gonna flip them over. Oh, beautiful. So we're looking to cook this for a few minutes on each side. Kriya, can you just please pass me the plates? Got it. First one done, couple more to go. Let's keep going. Looks very yummy already. And to serve this, we're just gonna add some berries and some strawberries. And to top it off, we have some syrup. Here we are using maple syrup. Do enjoy. Oh, I cannot wait, let's give it a try. This is really good. Now that breakfast is taken care of, we need to do something that could be lunch or dinner. I'm going to be making a meat-free moussaka and for this I will need a large brinjal, which I have sliced in half and scooped out the innards and chopped up the flesh inside. Let's get started. Add the oil and we're going to wait for that to heat up a bit. We're going to toss in some mustard seeds, cumin seeds, our cinnamon stick, the bay leaves and toss in our onions. And we want to cook this until the onions are soft and translucent. We're going to add in our chilli, garlic and ginger. Add in some coriander powder, some cumin powder and some mixed masala. Another quick stir. Pop in the brinjals that we've scooped out. And now for these brightly coloured peppers. And we're going to cook this for a little while because we want the peppers to soften a bit. It smells exquisite. <laughs> and now we're going to pop in our soya mix. Season with some salt. We're going to toss in our peas and the tomato. I'm going to let this cook while I line the brinjals with the mashed potatoes that I've previously prepared. This is just slightly different from what we would do with a normal moussaka. The moussaka, we would actually layer the brinjal and the mashed potato, and we're looking for some generous scoops to pop into the brinjal. And we want to get in all those goodness. We're going to pop these into an oven tray. And we're going to bake these for about 30 minutes. So tell me, what exactly is the importance of Meat Free Mondays. Meat Free Mondays is an initiative just to introduce or encourage one plant-based meal per week. And that is to reduce the environmental impact that it has on animal farming. Well, that moussaka is starting to smell really good. Do you think it's ready? I think so. Okay. Okay. These are baked perfectly. We're gonna plate these. This one. We're going to garnish this with some micro herbs. 
and serving this with some bechamel sauce made with soy milk and vegan margarine. And I've also heard that you have a really cool vegan friendly cookie recipe. I'm going to be using some coconut, soy milk and some vegan margarine. To start we're going to toss in our baking powder, the baking soda and a pinch of salt into the flour and we're just going to cream the vegan margarine and the sugar. So are there any different techniques that you use for making vegan biscuits? Well, the only substitute that I do have here is the vegan margarine and the soy milk. We're going to add in a drop of vanilla extract. Or you can just smell when you put in that vanilla essence. And now for the coconut. Mixed in. Now we're going to add in our flour. Okay, I think the best thing to do here is just to get my hands in here and get this mixed into a perfect biscuit dough. And this is why we need our soy milk to bring this biscuit dough together. We just want to form this into a ball and then divide it into two. And then we're going to place this onto our cling wrap. Kriya, can you just roll that one up while I prep this one? My grandfather taught me how to bake biscuits. I think these are ready. We're going to take that and pop them into the fridge and we're going to leave them there for about 30 minutes. And Kriya, while you're there, we have already two prepped. Here we go. We're going to be cutting this into half a centimetre discs. And then we're going to be reshaping this and get them into perfectly round discs. Like this. So we want to give sufficient space between these biscuits because they will rise a bit because of the baking powder and the baking soda. And this is the last one. And we're ready to pop it into the oven. And we're going to bake that until lightly golden brown. Well, Vadehi, thank you so much for showing me these recipes. And it just goes to show that it can be really easy to have a meat-free Monday, give back to the environment, and to benefit your body in the process.